Hey everyone. Uh, I am back here with another iOS 6 uh, related video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, add uh, coupons and train tickets and store cards to the Passbook app using a website called PassSource. So, and basically what PassSource does is it allows you to put um, fake store cards and fake coupons into the Passbook app so you can test it and see what it will look like. So, let's go ahead and get started. <coughs> so, I'm going to open the Passbook app and you guys, as you guys can tell, there are quite a few passes and coupons and uh, everything in there right now. So, before I actually give you guys a review of what you can do with the passes, I'm going to show you how to add uh, coupons and stuff to the actual app. So, what you need to do is go to this website called Pass Source. I will put the link into the in the description. But once you're there, you will be uh, presented on their home screen where it says "Let's get started," and then you hit create. And then once you do that, it will give you a large list of coupons and uh, store cards and stuff that you can add. So, say I want to add a Subway Rewards card. I can just tap on it. It will bring you to this screen. You can go through here and uh, modify any of the details that you want. Right in here. Or you could just hit jump to bottom and then hit create without editing any of the information at all. So I'm going to hit create. It'll load up. And there you go. It brings up the uh, Subway uh, gift card. And it'll give a name up here. Um, if it was a store card, it'll give you the remaining balance. But I will get to that in just a little bit. But... You can see there's the QR code and all the information on the pass. And then when you're ready to add it, hit the add button. It'll jump it down into your collection and you're ready to go. So now I'm going to show you guys what you can do with the actual uh, coupons and stuff in the passbook app. So now here's all the passes and coupons, store cards and everything. So when you tap on one, it will bring it into view and you can do anything you want with it. And it'll categorize all of your passes depending on what type uh, the pass is. So if it say it's an airplane ticket, it'll categorize all the airplane tickets into one section as you can see here. And then same thing with coupons. You tap on that and it will organize your coupons. And then your movie ticket slash, uh, say in this case, a Mets vs. Giants ticket. And then all of your actual store cards will be categorized here, as you can tell. So, when you have a pass open, or uh, when you it clicked on, you can hit the little eye down here to configure some settings for the actual uh, ticket. <clears throat> and you can turn on or off automatic updates. So if, say if something changes or if the expiration date uh, gets an extension or if it becomes shorter, it'll automatically update that for you. And then show on lock screen just basically shows the information or uh, reminds you about uh, the information on the actual ticket. So, say if it's about to expire, it'll <coughs> show you an alert on the lock screen, letting you know that it is about to expire, and then you need to renew it. Or, if you don't have the option to renew it, you can just go and immediately use it. And then down here, you have the terms and conditions for that current store. Say this is Subway. And they have their terms and conditions down here. And then you can delete the pass by hitting the trash can here. And hitting the delete button. And it shreds it. And it's gone. 
pretty nice animation if you ask me. I like the cool little shredding animation there. <clears throat> I might go ahead and do that just one more time just because it's a cool animation. So do that. Hit delete. And there you go. Pretty cool. <laughs> anyway. So and then we go to a store. If the store supports it, uh, they can scan this card here with their um, coupon scanner that they would normally have and it'll give you a discount on whatever you have or the product that you're trying to buy. And the same thing qualifies for everything. Say if the uh, stadium for this ticket uh, supports scanning this uh, card, you can do so and you'll be uh, let in there. Same thing here. Scan it with all the store cards. Some will be Q card, yeah, QR codes, and some will be standard barcodes, and then some will be uh, it kind of like a different version of a QR code kind of. But anyway, that's pretty much it of the Passbook app, and that's how you add passes to the Passbook app using PassSource.com. So. Yeah, I hope it helped you guys out here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed as well. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button right there. Uh, thumbs it up as well. And comment below if you have any questions about this app in general. Or how to add a pass or if you're just having trouble. Uh, don't be afraid to ask. I will be sh uh, sure to answer your questions. And if I can't answer your questions, I will be sure to look it up and find a close answer to what you were looking for. So... Yes, thanks for watching, and peace out till next time, everybody.